Holy crap, I have a lot of boxes. Hi guys, it's me, Hesse Chan, and I'm back again with another Toriba unboxing video. This has got to be my biggest Toriba unboxing yet, as I have five boxes to unbox with you today. Some of these prizes I've been waiting for since December of last year, so why don't we get started? On box number one, we have three prizes, and the first prize is this Kori Lakuma Donut Plush. It's a nice size. They do make bigger ones, like giant ones, but I was lucky to win this in one go on a free play ticket. It's super soft. Here's the little tag with Rilakkuma and Kori Lakuma on it. And the opposite side is just a plain donut. Cute, right? And on to the next prizes in this box. And here we have a Papuko from Pop Team Epic Blanket. Let's open this up and see what it looks like. Okay, so what I can say right away is that this is more like a throw because it is a very thin fabric, but <laughs> this is amazing and I really like it. I like that this is a smaller size too, so you can like use it while you're watching TV or something like that, or while you're watching Pop Team Epic actually. Third and final prize in this box, what is it? It is a Pipimi Pop Team Epic Blanket. Again, the same type of fabric as the Papako Blanket. Oh my god, can I even fit her all in there? <laughs> you can kind of see her. Yes, I love this very much, and honestly, I think Pipimi is my favorite character out of the two. On to the second box. The first prize is a little Axolotl plush keychain. I actually won this with a free play ticket too. I got super lucky. It's got a little heart on its butt, and it's made out of a super stretchy, squishy fabric. And I like that it comes with a matching pink ball chain. And it has a cute little heart tag. I'm definitely gonna display this guy on my shelf. Second prize in this box is a Rilakkuma plush. He's way bigger than I thought he'd be, considering that I won him with a free play ticket and I thought these guys were gonna be like tiny keychains. So this was actually a Valentine's Day prize. The little heart that he's holding, you can actually stick things in like small pieces of jewelry or coins. He also has a keychain on top, but he, I think he's rather heavy to display as a keychain, in my opinion. And then he's got his classic zipper on the back here, and he's made out of a very soft fabric. So what is the third prize in this box? You didn't think I'd go this long without a Shiba Inu, did you? This is a talking Mabe Shiba plush. Let me go get some batteries and we'll test it out. Somehow I knew I was going to have to use a screwdriver for this. I think I have the wrong size batteries for this guy. Uh, I do. I have the wrong size batteries, so let me go downstairs and get the AAA if I have any. Okay, and I found three of them and I had to take them out of some remote control, so let's see how this thing works. You can clap and make noises and it should uh, wag its tail and, well, it barks. So, whew, let's see. Didn't, didn't do anything. Hello? Hello? I pet it. Apparently you can pet it. Oh my god, that's so cute. But unfortunately the tail's not wagging. Hi! I don't know how to get the tail to wag. All of the uh, instructions are in Japanese. Yeah, unfortunately the tail isn't wagging. Maybe that part of him is broken, but whatever. He's still super cute and I love him. Now that the batteries are put away, we can get to the last item in this box. A giant Mew plushie. Oh, look at how cute he is. And boy, is he soft. He is made out of a very soft fabric. There's his tail. He is from the I Love Mew series, and I love his cute little pose. This guy was actually pretty difficult to win. It took me several tries, more than I'd like to admit, but he is super adorable, and yeah, I just had to have him. Moving on to the third box. Oh, I can tell by the prizes that are in here that this is the one I've been waiting for since December. The first prize we have in here is the Lizard Sumiko Gudashi Pass Bag. This is super, super cute. So this is like to put your bus pass on, like when you're in Japan, 
or your train pass actually. You could probably put like your ID and things like that in there too. He's got a front pocket to stick like change and money and other things inside. Let's see what's in here. Oh, there's some foam in here to keep his shape. And on the inside, you can probably fit a lot of stuff in here, like a wallet, your phone, whatever else, like your prescription medication if you have any, that kind of stuff. I have the iPhone 6S, and that fits perfectly in here with plenty of room to spare. Oh, and apparently, here, you can use your phone in here. You can actually touch it through through this. So let's test that out. All right, so my phone's in there. Let's see if I can use it. Ooh, I can. I didn't want you to see my password. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. I don't want you guys to be sneaky, sneaky. I can open this up. And we're gonna open up Toriba. There we go, yep, it works and I love it. I love this, I'm, I'm probably gonna use this a lot. Oh, and one little minor detail that I really like is this cute little tail. And the second prize that's in here is the Darkstalkers or otherwise known in Japan as Vampire or Vampire Savior. Morgan Noodle Stopper figure. If you guys haven't noticed, my avatar on here for my YouTube channel is actually me and my Morgan cosplay. I really love Darkstalkers. I really love Morgan. So I had to win this. This was a must. So let's open it up and see what she looks like. Ooh, she's actually really nice for a prize figure. Not that prize figures are bad or anything. I like that they used a shiny black paint for the wings and her shoes in contrast to her bodysuit. I really like that that makes it stand out. And her pose is classic pose. I would say that this pose is from, well, I mean, she poses like this a lot, but I've seen this like in the Tatsunoko versus Capcom artwork, which is actually one of my favorite versions of Morgan. There's what the back looks like. They also had another color, an alternate version, but I like the classic colors the most, and I know exactly where I'm gonna display her in my room here. And here's a closer look at her face. And this is anchovy from Girls und Panzer. Hopefully I didn't screw that pronunciation up. Now, I'm not very familiar with the series, but I thought she was rather cute and I only won her in one try. Somebody gave up and it only took one try to get her and I felt so bad that they gave up after all that trying. Um, but she's actually really cute. Um, this is what her outfit looks like on the bottom here. Her little tie is going every which way. She's got a cute cape and a pleated skirt. And here's the tag. Get a close-up shot of her face. She looks really smug, so um, I'm guessing that this would probably be my favorite character if I were to watch the series and or movie, which she's from. On to the next item. And it's an otter! I mean, who doesn't love otters? Seriously. I actually won this for my husband because he loves otters and all that stuff, and I thought he was cute. There was another one, he was a lighter color, and I guess he came with like a piece of fish in his mouth, but I was lucky enough to win this guy. He has kind of a funky looking face, but I think it's cute. There's his belly, and his tail. Now for these prizes, since they're doubles, I'm just going to open both of them together. Serval from Kimono Friends. Oh my god, her ears. <laughs> They're so cute. There she is. Oh my god, her ears are so cute. They just stick right up. She's got a cute little tail coming out of her skirt. And she's got her outfit, as you see there, with her little bow tie. Honestly, I think this is one of the cutest lying down style plushies I've seen in a long time. Of course, I want another one for my friend who really loves the series because at the time they made these very easy to win but then after a while because so many people were winning them so quickly I'm pretty sure they nerfed the machine and they changed the way uh, it had to be won. We have two more big boxes to go. Let's see how many more prizes are inside. And I'm gonna start by opening this big guy. Ooh, I see some goodies. The first prize in this box is Luna from Sailor Moon. I'm pretty sure she was a highly sought after prize. She was not easy to win, but I'm very happy that I did win her. And I honestly think this might be the biggest Luna plush that they have made to date. Take a closer look at her. She's got a classic moon on her forehead and a cute little sitting pose. And there's her tail. The tag really isn't anything special. It's just black and white. It's got the official toy seal on there so you know that it's an official product. 
And that's it for Luna. She's super cute and super big, and I'm very happy to have another Luna plushie in my Sailor Moon collection. And the next prize is a kitty cat plushie. This is called a jewel cat plushie, and this one I won in a couple of tries. Somebody left it in a very easy position. I guess they gave up on it. Uh, super soft, super cuddly. I like the paw pad details on the paws here very glittery eyes look at those blue glittery eyes i think that's what makes this so cute and stand out is those like super shiny eyes oh and you can see my ring light reflection in there oh my gosh i think this is the biggest prize i've ever won off of toriba and oh i okay let's just open this and I can show you how big it is. Oh my god. Now it's all full of static electricity. Look at how big this Cinema Roll plushie is. Oh my goodness. And it's so bright white that it's like blowing everything. Well, not blowing everything out, but everything else is dark. Oh my goodness. Compared to me, look at how big this thing is. I think they said that this is like 70 centimeters across, but it's super soft. It's not like low quality. And the ears are like super floppy and cute. Oh, 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 and my favorite part is this cinnamon bun tail. Look at that. Oh my god. That is so cute. Oh, and I think my arms are getting tired just holding it up like this because it's fairly heavy. Oh my goodness. Oh, time to sit and reflect about how cute this is. And that is mine enough reflection let's get on to the next prize next up we have an axolotl this is the second axolotl we have opened so far and if you guys don't know i really love axolotls they're just so cute and here in california i can't own one as a pet so the best i can do is just get plushies and figures and stuff of axolotls but this is made out of a very stretchy fabric i love the rainbow gills and the tail is super cute too and there's his belly. I really like how simple the face is, that they didn't add a mouth and it's just two little dots for the eyes. And uh, he's fairly dense too, he's like a little pillow. Super cute. Next prize in this box is a Mame Shiba Oni plush. This is my favorite uh, brother out of the Mame Shiba brothers, or Ma Mame Shiba Kyodai. Um, his name is Sasuke. I like him because he looks like my dog, basically. He's a cream. I think he's a, I don't know if he's supposed to be a Pomeranian or a Shiba Inu, but either way, he looks like my dog and I love him. And I love the little Oni mask he has on. Uh, this was supposed to be a prize that came out uh, February, and it was, uh, uh, I forget the name of the Japanese holiday. It is escaping me right now. But basically, like, you use beans to throw at the ogres or the onis uh, to dispel like evil spirits and things like that. This guy came way later than that holiday happened. So, but I, I really love him and I love his little pants or diaper or whatever you want to call it. So cute. And we're down to two more prizes in this box. Let's see what we got. Another jewel cat. Now this one I really wanted because it's a black and white cat and it's got beautiful green eyes just like my cat Sasha. And I love having things that look like my kitty cats. Super soft fabric. Cute little paw detail like the gray one. Sparkly green eyes. Cute tail and the white belly. Love it. So cute. Adorable. Okay, last and final prize in this big old box is this Sumiko Gurashi memo pad. This is supposed to be an electronic memo pad. So I don't know if this includes batteries. I don't think so, because I don't think that they ship things with batteries in it. But let's take a look at it anyway. The one that I got is the lizard because he is my favorite Sumiko Gurashi character. Oh my goodness, that is just too darn cute. Here's what he looks like. He comes with this little stylus that clips onto the side. He does take batteries. Let's see if there's any in there. I don't think there is. As it turns out, this actually does have a battery in it and it does work. Let me demonstrate. Alrighty, so that's what we wrote on there. It says, has a channel. And then to erase it, you just press this button. And then you can write whatever you want on it again. 
Look how cute that is. That's it for this big old box. Look at how huge this was. This is, and this thing got beat up in the mail. I don't know what the heck they were doing with that. Whew, okay. Okay, are you guys still there? I know it's a long video. We have one more box to go. And on to the last and final box that's taking up the whole screen. Oh my God. There's so much stuff. Wow, I have way too much stuff. I have a problem. This is a box I have been waiting on since July as well. Either July or late December, um, around there. I'm pretty sure it was early July, but Oh my god, I'm so happy to finally get these prizes, so let's get started in opening them. First up, Shiba Inu. And this is a girl one. This looks a lot like Sasuke. It's got the same like type of ears, but a orange coat. And she's got this cute little bow on her head and this cute collar that have a bunch of cherry blossoms or sakura on them. There's her cute little curly tail. You know that's my favorite part. If you guys watch my videos, you know that's my favorite part of these plushies. Whoop! There's a cute little butt and her white tummy. She's super soft and as always on these plushies, they always have this cute little blush detail on them and I just think that that adds extra charm to each one. And next we have a husky. This guy is also from the Mama Shiba Kyodai collection. I don't have any plush of him except for this one. This is the very first and only plush I have of him. He's got a cute little curly tail, white belly, he has a rather serious look on his face, but he's still very cute. Ooh, yes, cuddle. We have five more plushies in this box to go. And up next is this cute Fusapo Nuts, is what they call them, Fusapo Nuts uh, Squirrel plushie. I was very lucky with winning her because like I won it in one go off a free play ticket and it was a very strange setup with like, it, they were stuck in these little capsule balls and you had to bounce them off of a ball and it just had to roll into the prize hole and like literally it was like a cutout hole and some plastic which is like insane. I didn't think I'd win it. In one of the Toriba groups I'm in on Facebook, somebody said that these have little squeakers in their tail. And totally true. I'm gonna have to keep this away from a dog because he will destroy it. Here's a closer look at her. I really like the cute eyelashes coming off of the face, the cute blush on the cheeks, and the little stripes on the forehead there. And up next, we have a white axolotl. Oh my goodness, what is up with this? His face is kind of... Wow, I think it looks funnier in the bag than it does outside of it. Well, let's uh, take it out and fix it up, shall we? Why do you got blush on your head? That doesn't make any sense. There we go. You are free. Let's fluff you up. You are free from your plastic prison. Oh my goodness, look how cute this is. And it's super stretchy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> These are great. Uh, like again like the other one I love these rainbow gills on here very very K very soft very squishy very pillow like love the cute little feet the tail is very adorable too and yeah very squishy and pillow like hmm. nap time on to the next prize another axolotl this one's from the same series as the one I just opened before but this one's all yellow. Oh my god, it looks rather concerned, doesn't it? It's like, I don't even know what's going on. Why are you recording me? Cute little legs, cute tail, super stretchy and soft, just like the other one. Next in this box, another axolotl! I got a lot of axolotls. So this is my favorite color, I think, out of the three. I like pink, if you guys don't know, but cute little gills that are super soft, <laughs> funny face, stretchy, there's the belly and the tail, but super soft and adorable. Okay, we are down to the last and final prize in this box, which is the last and final box, coincidentally. No, but you already knew that. You already knew that this was the last and final box. So what is it? Can you guys guess? I saved the best for last. A Shiba! Of course, of course, I couldn't end this video without a Shiba, right? Ooh, and he's made out of that same type of stretchy, soft material as the axolotls are. And he's made by the same brand as the rainbow axolotl. Not the big white one, but the pink one that I showed you earlier. 
super soft, adorable and sleepy, cute curly tail, white belly. Oh my goodness, look at that snoot. Look at that snoot. Oh, he's just so cute. Honestly, he's smaller than I thought he'd be because I think I've seen pictures of like these types of plush on like Instagram with uh, Shiba Inus that I follow on that. Um, so but he's a lot smaller, but that's good because I have a lot of big plushies that take up a lot of room. So it's a good thing this guy's smaller. And these are all the prizes that we unboxed today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I'll see you next time. Bye!